Welcome to the next lecture on introduction to social marketing. So, diffusion of innovation theory. The diffusion of innovation theory explains how new ideas, products or behaviors spreads adopted within a social system. It is more focused towards a social system or society. It explores the process of communication and adoption emphasizing the role of different adopter categories. The diffusion of innovation theory identifies five categories of adopters. Innovator, he is a visionary, visionaries who embrace new ideas or products or process whatever it is. Early adopter are, are opinion leaders and influential individuals who adopt innovation after innovator. So, first fellow does it, the next fellow follows it. Early majority are, are pragmatic adopters. who follow early adapters. Then late are skeptical adapters who are cautious but eventually embrace innovation and the last one laggards are are traditionalists who are slow to adopt or slow to adopt innovation. Okay. So, the diffusion of innovations theory identifies five categories, innovator who does it first time, a visionary who goes and who develops a solution, early adopters whatever innovator does this fellow tries to copy or try to uh, take the leaders influence and uh, they do it. So, uh, opinion leaders or influential individuals who adopt innovator. So, for example, a star adopting, a prime minister adopting, a headmaster adopting, a family head adopting, a societal head adopting, gram pradhan adopting. So, that is early adoption. Early majority is pragmatic adopters who follow adopters. Pradhan has done it, so I will also do it. So, then late is uh, skeptical adopters who are cautioned by eventually eventual embracement innovation. So, they do it little late. Laggards are traditionalists who are slow to adopt or laggards. So, these are the five categories of adoption uh, in the diffusion of innovation stage. So, uh, identifying target audience based on adopter uh, categories, the social marketers can tailor their campaign by identifying and appealing to specific adopter group. For example, only to women requesting their, their daughters to go to school, only women. Then requesting only women to change from, from wood based uh, burning in kitchen to gas based. 
or wood to wood and coal to gas based so that their health gets long lived providing lights in the uh, house asking women to work on solar lanterns so social marketers can tailor their campaign by identifying and appealing to specific adopter groups early adopter and opinion leaders can influence others and accelerate promotion a principal can make an influence uh, through teachers to children the class teacher is always a hero until the class 5 for a child he comes and he or she comes back home and says my teacher said this you are wrong to the parent and from 0 to 5 the father and mother are the heroes and heroines so they are all whatever they say gets so early adopters and opinion leaders can influence others and accelerate adoption the diffusion of innovation theory identifies five factors that influence uh, the adoption of innovation uh, perceived relative uh, advantages and compatibility are the major complexity trailability and and observability so there are five factors which influence perceived relative advantage compatibility complex stability trailability and observability so what is done in the perceived relative advantage so it is the extent to which the innovation is perceived as better than existing alternatives next compatibility is the degree to which the innovation aligns with existing values and experience okay so con- compatibility is the degree to which the innovation aligns with existing values and experiences compatibility how compatible this is so the uh, the next one is going to be complexity the level of difficulty in adopting and using an innovation for example if you throw a shaving uh, or automatic shaving machine just in front of a person by looking at the machine he should be able to understand how to use it trailability is the ease of trying out the innovation on a limited basis then observability the visibility of the innovations result to others this is very important i wear a beautiful dress such that people recognize and then ask me oh it looks smart or you are looking smart so this is what it is so diffusion of innovation theory identifies five factors perceived relative advantage what is the benefit i get what is that how is it going to be compatible to me to use it uh, in a place already existing how complex is it uh, to adopt to this solution how, uh, if i wanted to try how do i try it and how do how do i make feel others observing so that's what it is so the strategies for overcoming behaviors of adoption is uh, you try to highlight benefits you simplify complexity uh, you f- you facilitate trailability uh, and then you demonstrate social proof so by doing so you are able to overcome behavior to adoption some of the examples is the ghar ghar jal campaign in india aimed to promote the adoption of household water connection in rural areas targeting different adopter categories with tailored messages i repeat it is ghar ghar jal the uh, the next example is the the bike share 
program in city utilized early adopters and and opinion leaders to promote bike sharing among the early majority it is a next example bike share so these two are examples so let's get into the social norm theory It explores how people's behavior is influenced by their perception of what is considered normal or acceptable within a specific social group or a community norm many a times we say this is the norm we follow this is the norm which is followed in npetal this is a norm which is followed in this country so social norm theory explores how people's behavior is influenced by their perceptions of what is considered normal or acceptable within the society it recognizes the distinction between perceived norm and actual norm so perceived norm is what individual believe others are doing then what others are genuinely doing that makes a huge difference perceived norm is what individuals believe others are doing actual norm is what others are genuinely doing so the perceived norm is going to be individuals believe about the the prevalence of a uh, of a particular behavior of a particular behavior within a community which may not reflect which may not always reflect reality okay actual norms are the real behavior and attitudes exhibited by individual in the social group this makes a big difference perceived norm is individuals belief about uh, the prevalence of a particular behavior with a community community which may not always reflect reality perceived actual norm is the real behavior and at attitudes exhibited by the individuals in social group so what are all the challenge challenging misconceptions through social marketing social marketer can correct uh, mis perceptions by providing accurate information about actual norms through campaigns for example if people believe that a large percentage of their peers engage in negative behavior campaigns can reveal the true lower uh, prevalence reducing the perceived pressure to conform so uh, nor normative messaging normative messaging leverages social comparison to individuals behavior it also emphasizes positive behavior and encourages individuals to align with the desired norm promote positive change so normative messaging is important the power of social 
social comparison in promoting positive change generally happens because people tend to confirm to the behavior they perceive as common or desire in their social circle. This is the power of social comparison in promoting positive change. Social marketing can capitalize on this by showcasing positive behavior as prevalent uh, and worthy of emulation. So, let us look at some of the case studies which are there. Uh, so, Bell Bajau campaign, the campaign focus uh, is the Bell Bajau campaign launched by Breakthrough uh, India aimed to combat domestic violence by challenging the social norms of silence and encouraging bystanders to intervene when they hear violence behind closed doors. So, this is a very successful Bell Bajau. The perceived norm is many people believe that it was inappropriate to interfere uh, in others private matter. When there is a alarming bell, you are supposed to go and intervene. So, the actual norm is the campaign showcased real stories of individuals who stepped forward and took action to stop domestic violence. Impact is by highlighting the actual norms of intervention, the campaign empowered others to break their silence and take action against domestic violence. It, this all happened because of social marketing. Okay, the next example for our discussion is Beti Bachao, Beti Padao. The campaign focuses on this government led campaign aimed to address gender based discrimination and promote the importance of educating the girl children. The perceived norm is in some religion, preference for male children and limited education opportunities for girl were prevalent norms. The actual norm is the campaign showcased success stories of families and communities that valued and supported the education of children. The impact which has got created is by highlighting the actual norm of empowering and educating girls, the campaign helped challenge gender uh, stereotypes and promoted equal opportunity for girl education. Today, government of India has also added women based reservation in uh, technical institutes. These numbers are super numeratory and they are encouraging girl children not to stop at school level, but to continue to graduation level also. There are several governments uh, which comes up with a scheme of providing free education till college level to girl children. This is all a lead which is taken from this slogan, Beti Bachao, Beti Pado. The four P's of social marketing, this is very important. The four P's of social marketing are the essential elements that forms the foundation of planning and implementation in social marketing campaign. They are product, price, place and promotion. In social innovation, there is a possibility of price. So, all these things whatever I showed to you was government initiative. But if you want to have a self sustaining action, so price plays a very important role. You can have a lower price, but cater to a wider need. For example, all the healthcare innovation happens depend keeping price as one of the important factors. So, products they the desired behavior change is happening because of product. The price is a barrier and it is also a benefit. When we talk about place, it is accessible channel is the place what we talk about. Then promotion is communication strategy. is communication strategies. So, these four P's product, price, place and promotion plays a very important role in planning and implementation. By carefully considering each of these elements, 
social marketers can design impactful campaign that contributes to positive societal change. Product, the desired behavior change. Product refers to the desired behavior change or social action that the campaign aim to promote among the target audience. So, it is trying to promote among the target audience. Soap, a sanitary pad, right? Economical sanitary pad, hygiene of uh, a woman. So, all these things, they are desired behavioral change or social action that the campaign aim to promote among the target audience. It can be children, it can be women, it uh, can be men, it can be society, all these things, right. It involves identifying the specific behavior that needs to be adopted or modified to achieve the ca campaign's social objectives. The campaign makes a big change. Example, encouraging people to quit smoking, promote hand washing with soap, using seat belt regularly. This is a social impact because in India, every day you lose almost 10,000 people because of road accidents. Across the country, I am saying, across the country divided by 30 states, divided by 24 hours. If you see, even that number when it comes for every hour, so much of death in the road is a major, uh, major, major uh, important thing which government has to address. Many of them are getting reported, some of them are getting rem uh, not reported. So, the data what I share is from a newspaper uh, write up. So, the using of seat belts regularly is also coming up in a big way. The government has taken initiative like prompting or pushing heavy fine on those people who do not use the seat belts or helmets. So, all these things are products which tries to desire a behavioral change. Then price, barrier and benefits. Price represents the cost and benefits associated with adopting the desired behavioral change. The barriers are the challenges or obstacles that individuals might face in adopting the behavior. For example, women wearing a helmet, a traditional Indian, South Indian women who has uh, a liking of, uh, of displaying the flower in her head, uh, if you are asking her to wear a helmet, it is, uh, it is a challenge and a behavior that individuals might face in adopting the uh, behavior. Or the other thing is benefits are the positive outcomes and rewards that individuals can experience by adopting the behavior. Even though they do it, we request them to change their style and still go ahead wearing the helmet. By wearing the helmet, an accident can be stopped. Their life can be saved. The family will have a member continuing to exist. Big change. Okay. Adopting is leave smoking. Okay. In traditional Indian marriages, traditional Indian marriages, drinking was a societal status. Without drinking, uh, it was a challenge for, uh, for people to say no to drinks during the time of marriage or during the time of Diwali. So, there uh, the, behave, the barrier or the challenges or the obstacles that individual might face in adopting the behavior. I say no to cigarette, I say no to drinking, it is a challenge, right. And many a times, when you go to uh, developed countries, it becomes a challenge. But now, people have slowly, slowly started accepting. Example, uh, for a campaign uh, promoting healthy eating, the barrier could be the perception of healthy food uh, being expensive, organic food in, uh, in particular, while the benefit could include improved health and well-being. Place accessible channel. The place refers to the accessibility and availability of channels through which the target audience can assess information and resources related to the camp. For example, uh, during the time of uh, AIDS awareness, the condoms were dispersed uh, through a vending machine 
which is which is kept in public space. So, the place refers to the accessibility and availability of channels through which the target audience can as, assess information and resources related to the campaign. It involves selecting appropriate communication channels and distribution methods to reach the target audience effectively. So, what they did the government decided was this will this vending machines quantum vending machines will be will be painted in a different color and it will be kept at a certain height such that it is not accessible by children. And it also be kept in such a place very close to that of uh, inside a washroom, but not it is publicly seen. So, these are certain tricks and trades which they followed such that the accessible channels can be promoted. Example, using social media community outreach program and educational workshops to disseminate information about family planning. This is accessible channel. The promotion is communication strategies is promotion involves designing communication strategies to raise awareness, create interest and persuade the target audience to adopt the desired behavior. So, promotion involves designing communication strategies to raise awareness, create interest. Many a times there used to be advertisement where in which the advertisement used to be stopped in between. So, they started the government started promoting half baked or half cut advertisements. So, they started building more and more and more curiosity amongst people. What is that ad all about? So, they created interest and persuade the target audience to adopt once the, the ad was released and the product was said, it was target audience to adopt the desired behavior was introduced. This includes crafting compelling messages and selecting suitable communication channels to reach the intended audience. Example, uh, the campaign promoting blood donation may use emotional appeals and testimonials to motivate people to donate blood. The, the successful campaigns where the four P's were effectively utilized to address social issues and bring positive change, ALS ice bucket challenge. The desired behavioral change was to raise awareness among amyotropic lateral sclerosis, ALS and encourage donation for research. Prices, participants experience the temporary discomfort of pouring ice cold water over themselves, but felt the reward of contributing to a meaningful cause. The campaign utilized social medias, platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube, making it easily accessible to a social audience. Promotion, the campaign went viral due to its unique and engaging nature, pouring ice on a bucket on top of a person, with participants nominating others to join, thereby spreading the message exponentially. This is a very big success, ALS ice bucket challenge, very big success. The, the people who participated understood the pain and they contributed for ALS affected people. The next is Dump Ways to Die Australia. The product is the campaign aimed to promote railway safety and prevent accidents by raising awareness about risky behavior around the trains. The prices, the campaign showed the disastrous consequences of unsafe behavior while emphasizing the benefit of adhering to safety measures. Place, it used various mediums, individual animated videos, outdoor advertisements and gaming apps to reach the target audience, especially young commuters. The promotion is the catchy and the humorous songs along with the vibrant characters made the safety message memorable and shareable. The social marketing process is a systematic approach. Do not think it is random. It is a very, very systematic approach. It has a proper planning, implementing and evaluating social market campaign. 
The process typically involves the following steps, problem identification, audience analysis, set goals and objectives, develop marketing mix between these four P's, then implement the campaign, evaluate the campaign. So, these are the steps which are involved, very important, how do the marketing process get implemented. So, in problem identification, identify the social issues or problems that the campaign aims to address. Conduct a thorough analysis of the issues, scope, prevalence and underlying causes. Then audience analysis, identify and understand the target audience for the campaign, analyze their attitude, beliefs, behaviors, preferences related to the social issues. This is audience analysis, problem identification, audience analysis, formulate behavior objectives, define clear and specific behavioral objectives at the campaign seeks to achieve. The objective should be measurable and aligned with desired behavior change. The development of market mix of four P's product determine the desired behavioral change or the action that campaign will promote. Then identify the barrier and benefit associated with adopting the desired behavior place. Select the channels and platforms to reach the target audience. Promote is develop compelling communication strategies to convey campaign messages. The message development is very important if it makes jingles or logos. Craft persuasive and cultural relevant messages that resonant with the target audience. Use storytelling, emotions, relatable scenarios to make it impactful. Say for example, if you are uh, wasting water. When you are trying to take a bath, the water stops, what difficulty you undergo or when you are trying to study for the examination, the power cut happens. So all these things are emotional one. Then pilot testing, conduct small scale pilot tests of the campaign with the respective samples of the targeted audience, gather feedback and insight to refine the campaign before full scale implementation, scalability is talked about. Campaign implementation, launch the campaign across the selected channel and platform. Then monitor and evaluation is continuous, monitor the campaign progress and impact on the audience. The feedback and adoption is also an important one. Gather feedback from the targeted audience, stakeholders and partners and go back and reorient your social marketing. Scale up and sustainability based on the campaign success and evaluation results. Consider scaling up the campaign for broader impact. Plan sustainability by building partnership and ensuring resource for long term efforts. Summarizing the social marketing lecture, the social marketing is a powerful tool that can be used to change behavior. The social marketing process can help you to increase your chance of success. The four P's of social marketing can help you to define the desired behavior change identifying the barrier, benefit of the change, choose the right challenge to reach your target audience, develop effective messages and activities. The social norm theory can help you to understand how people's perception of what is normal uh, or acceptable can influence their behavior. By understanding these concepts and using them effectively, you can create social marketing campaign that will help you to achieve your goal. The assignment is already given during the lecture. We have asked you to look at more case studies which has a social impact under the behavioral theory. These are the references. I would like to thank you for your patient listening.